right, if you're a fan of botanical gardens and art, you are in luck. You can check out the amazing artwork of expert photographer Lori Tennant starting this weekend in Birmingham. It is such a pleasure to have you on. And truth from reporting, Lori did the most wonderful photo spread on me a few years ago. And it was so much fun to work with you. But I Thank mean, you. I was probably like your worst subject to, to, to try to, 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 to rally over. But some of your work, you've been working with plants for quite some time, right? Right. I've been uh, represented by the Robert Kidd Gallery for like over 10, 15 years. Yeah. And so this is going to be unveiled at an event this weekend. And tell me a little bit about what motivated you to do. When I first looked at this, by the way, it's a beautiful succulent. I thought it was a painting. That is the, the extraordinary detail and, uh, you know, just the overall look to it just makes it look like a painting. But this is actually a photograph. Right. These are photographs that are done in my studio. And the interesting thing about this piece in particular is I've been working with botanical gardens mm -hmm. and the botanist there. And this actually came from the Chicago Botanic Garden. It's called Red Velvet Echeveria, and it's kind of a rare plant. So I'm really enjoying learning and working with the botanist. And the pieces are printed on aluminum, so they're weatherproof. I was about to say, yes, right. this is not a canvas or anything like that. They're it very is light, and, yeah. and you can display this, of course, in your home or outside on a patio or a, a lanai. They yes. look great in the snow, actually. I bet they do. <laughs> uh, t uh, right now, people are going to be able to see this at Botanical Gardens in a tour? Yes. Um, this Saturday, the show opens at Robert Kidd Gallery, and that's from 5 to 8, and it will be up through May. And then next week, we open at the Chicago Botanical Garden, and there'll be 25 pieces there. It's a major exhibit, and it will be up all summer through the end of September. So it's just a little north of Chicago, a great trip. And then that is the first of a tour of this work that's going to go to botanical gardens around the country. Now, it looks like you shot this at night. That's just an illusion, though, right? Or right it's you? in the studio. <laughs> it's in okay. the studio, so it's really just the lighting that, that uh, gives you that effect. So you got to borrow some of the plants? I got to go in and cut them right out of <laughs> wow! the garden, which was really that was great. Something. And um, yeah. and they have so many interesting specimens, and I learn about things that are almost extinct in um, different varieties. It's really interesting. What's harder, yeah. shooting people or plants? Um, probably plants. <laughs> yeah, yeah. People, it's just really when you're you're with them and if you're, you feel comfortable. I have no problem with that. <laughs> but for a plant, I mean, to, to capture you know, the correct well, lighting and all of it. They're all live. The nuances, So you're yeah. really working with something that may wilt. And actually, a lot of my subject matter. Um, Did I make it? I may, <laughs> well, I may like it once it oh. dries out. You mm -hmm. know, So it's really the architecture I'm looking at and the design of the plant. So it depends on, on when that photographs well. Yeah. Well, gorgeous. And so many more of these exhibits to enjoy. and. You partner with the Pink Fund with uh, Scarves Like This, a local nonprofit to help raise money for them. And this will be for sale too? Um, those are on sale on my website, lauritenantbotanicals.com, and we'll donate money um, all through the month from Mother's Day to the Pink Fund, which helps people uh, pay their bills during treatment. Fantastic. Again, the exhibit opens this weekend at the Kid Gallery in Birmingham, so hopefully you can check it out. Make a donation there also to go toward uh, the, a fund that is in memory of your mother, correct? Yeah, the Kelly Fund, and that'll benefit the College for Creative Studies. Helps uh, students with special projects there where I went to school. All right. Thank you so much, Thank Lori. You, Always Alicia. a pleasure Always to, see to see you. you. All right.